It was week two of RFL, and Colorado had three big games. Needed some wins to get a playoff push going. Didn't start off great here with almost on pick against Kansas State. Maybe get three points out of it. Not how you want to start the game, but points are points, and you'll take them when you can get them here in the RFL. The defense came out ready to play, though. Colorado immediately, next possession, interception, gets some yards here. Start getting Kansas State on their heels to start the game. It's a great way for the defense to start, to start off the week. Colorado would punch it in, go up to nothing. Next possession again. Colorado with the interception to really grab control of this game late in the second quarter, going in the second half. Offense started moving the ball real well. Arias with a great catch here, great break, broken tackle. Got a big game for Colorado. They were able to punch it in to P.D. Jones, go up to 17 nothing, going in the half, and that is a way to play the first half for Colorado and exactly what you want against a good team like Kansas State. Late in the third quarter, Kansas State was on the board, but Colorado would come right back and score to go up 24-8 to to keep control of this game going in the fourth quarter. Later on, 23-14, Colorado needs to score to really ice the game here. To play with the clock a little bit, they had a lot of good clock management for this game. Sanders rolls out third and 12. This is a big third down play. They need to keep the ball, keep the, keep the ball, keep the, keep the clock moving. And a big first down conversion there for Sanders. Colorado would... Have to settle for a field goal, though. However, this would make it a two-possession game late in the fourth quarter, which is, again, big. It's a ranked team like Kansas State. Exactly what they needed. Kansas State would score pretty quickly. However, Colorado would be able to run the clock out with a knee there, win the game against a ranked Kansas State team. Big first win for Colorado. That would lead right to Oregon State, and this game was as close as this uh, sneak on fourth down. This game was way different than the Kansas State game. This was an up-and-down game. The offenses were free-flowing, scoring lots of points, getting lots of yards. Close game, great game. Let's get into the highlights. Already on 7 nothing. Colorado needs to keep up with Oregon State here. Second inches, midway through the first quarter. Sanders is going to find Arias right down the seam here for a long touchdown to get Colorado on the board. A good, good start to the game. Down, down seven again. Car needs to keep going. Second goal, late in, or early in the second quarter. Car is going to do what they do. Hand the ball to P. Jones. P. Jones is going to punch it in for seven. Tie the game up 14 14. 14 14 still. Next possession. Car needs to stop on defense and they get that with another interception. The defense played well this week. Big job there. Car has a chance to take the lead now. P. Jones here makes the guy breaks the guy's ankles. What a run by P. Jones. Gets Colorado in scoring position. Down first and goal. Real close. Couple plays later. Sanders is going to find L. Craig across the middle on a crossing route for a touchdown. Colorado goes up 21 to 14. Then, late in the second quarter, Sanders makes a big run here. Game tied 21 21. This put, gives Colorado a chance to score before the half. It's a huge run for Colorado. Next play. Sanders is going to drop back. He's going to throw the ball to Arias, who breaks a, breaks a tackle, swerves a couple guys, and gets the end zone with a, for a score late in the first half. Gives Colorado the lead going into the second. As Oregon State, their last possession, with the interception, that would end the first half. Colorado up 28-21. This game was far from over, though. Tie game, late third quarter. Colorado hands the ball off to Smith. Smith breaks a tackle, makes a couple guys miss, breaks another tackle, and he is gone with a tough run from Smith. Go up 35-28. Now 35-35. Sanders drops back, does it to Jones, who has a run, and he fumbles the football, giving Oregon State the possession with a tie game midway through the fourth quarter. This is a heartbreaking blow for Colorado. Now Colorado down seven after that fumble. Needs to score, needs to keep up with Oregon State. Backs against the wall. Driving, hands the ball to Jones on a counter, who breaks a tackle, bounces outside, and now he is gone. Another great run. Colorado running the ball real well tonight. Ties the game up against Oregon State, 42-42. to Tie game, late fourth quarter. Colorado defense needs a stop, or they're not going to get this win. Fourth down, the Oregon State goes for it, and they throw an interception. Perry with interception, the fourth pick on the week for Colorado's defense to really set them up for this game-winning field goal. Two seconds left, right in the middle of the field. Best kicker in the league. Colorado knocks it down, wins the game, beats Oregon State 45-42. to What a game. Coach Reed played his butt off. Now on to Michigan. 
Colorado would be heavy underdog against Michigan. They would need great effort from all their players, and they would get that early and often from Leon Sankhouse with a diving catch here for a big gain. Already down 7 nothing. Colorado needed to keep up with Michigan. Another deep pass to Leon Sandcastle, who comes down with it and runs into the end zone. It was an all Leon Sandcastle this game for Colorado. Now down by three. Big stop by the defense to hold him to three points. Car with the ball. Again, Sandcastle on the left side. Just burning that DB. Another diving catch here. Great effort by Leon Sandcastle. Colorado moving the ball. Later in the drive. Late in the second quarter. Still down 10 to 7. Car milking that clock. Sanders finds. Arias up the middle with a great throw and a great catch for a touchdown, taking the lead late in the first half. Now we're midway through the quarter, down by 10. They really need to get going here. Sanders looking around, looking for anybody. Before anybody tries to scramble, still has no scramble spot. Looks back and finds L. Craig right over the middle of a deep. A big, big gain on second and two. Kim Colorado moving the ball. Later, same possession. Second goal. Colorado needs a score here. They go to their. Trusty running back, Petey Jones, the running back, y'all, for a touchdown. Now down by three points. Defense needs a stop. Down by 10 again. Defense couldn't get that stop. Fourth and 23. All hope is lost. Sanders is going to throw it down. And Leon St. Castle comes down, though, with a huge fourth down conversion to keep him in the game. Keep the score within 10. Give him a chance to punch it in. They were not able to punch it in, though. They're going to take, take three points. Down by seven. Need a stop, need a turnover, need something big on defense to win this game. Maybe send it into overtime. Down by 14, though. We're able to get 22 seconds left in the game. Just looking to keep it close, keep it respectable. Sanders takes, takes a snap. Does the ball in the middle. Craig with no touchdown. Card loses this game 38-31. It was a great week for Coach Trigger in the gang. Two big wins, one loss. Well on their way to the playoff.